Hello everyone, Grunkle Squeaky here with a quick tutorial for the console. The console's module that is very similar in premise to Adventure Game, just with some mechanical differences, probably best displayed just by showing you what they are. Uh, the first thing you might notice is that the module will not actually respond to any selectives whatsoever. It actually has nothing for you to interact with. So you may be wondering, how do we interact with this module? And the answer to that question is via typing. The module will register all of your keyboard inputs while you have it selected. And the way that you get information from this module and the way you solve this module is by using specific commands listed in the manual. As you can see, there are seven different commands that you can use. View enemy, view hero, view location, items, weapons, use item, and use weapon. These first five commands, the view commands, you'll use to get the information necessary to solve the module. And the last two, the use commands, you will use to solve the module. So, first things first, let's take a look at the information we need and write it down. First thing we will do is we will view enemy. You will have to record the name and all six of the enemy statistics. You will not actually have to write down the units because they will always, or the statistics will always be in the same order as they are in the manual. The intelligence will always be first, stealth will always be last. You will never have to worry about information being out of order. Just like Adventure Game, when the diffuser gives you numbers, they will always be the exact same statistics every single time. So, with that being said, let's get the information written down. You're not going to need to see the bomb for this part mostly so enemy is enemy spider stats are 10 1 7 1 0 0.375 and 41 uh, next thing that we will need to do is check ourselves with the command view hero not view hero, view hero. We are Tim Wee, love that reference. Uh, go ahead and write down our statistics. Hero, Tim Wee. Stats are 1.882, 30, 60, 80, and our origin is 52, 13. Uh, next, we are going to need our location statistics, which we can see by using the command view location. We have been sent to Brazil, and once again, we'll just take down our statistics, location, statistics, uh, first the name's Brazil, our stats are 999, 100, 999, Wind is zero and nine 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 nine. There are a decent number of heroes, enemies, and locations which just have quote unquote funny statistics. Next, we are going to have to take down our items with the command view items. Pretty decent list to work with. Uh, rather than writing these down. Should you be using a digital manual on the repo, like I often do, I would just highlight these, or at least for the sake of this tutorial, I will just highlight them. Uh, we have Power Glove. You will have Sunglasses. Should you be doing this in a voice bomb, then you won't actually have... Well, obviously you won't have this luxury as the diffuser will most likely be dumping this on you. In which case, obviously, you can just write it down and then do this highlighting yourself afterwards when you have time. However, I think it's just a waste of space for me to write it all down, so we will not be doing that. Breathalyzer and stop sign. 
last thing we are going to need to do before we can actually get started on work is view our weapons with the command, you guessed it, view weapons, of which we have distract, we have Spock, we have pineapple, we also have rock, and Argonian dictionary. So that is all the information we need from the actual module. We can now go straight to just working on it ourselves. So step one is we have to just find out which items we are going to be using. And the way we find out which items we use is we simply check the condition for each item and if it is true, then we use that item. At the end of all of this, we will have to make sure we have all of the correct items selected when we use the correct weapon, and then the module will be solved. With that being said, our first condition, 3D glasses. If the enemy's stealth is less than 100, which as we can see, enemy spider, and in case you forgot, stealth is the last statistic. Enemy spider stealth is 41, therefore it is less than 100, so we will end up using... 3D glasses. Next, bald eagle. If the hero's origin, which are the hero's coordinates, is 52 degrees, 13 degrees, is located in the United States. Latitude between 25 and 45, which is 52, so that condition is incorrect. Breathalyzer. If the enemy's HP, which does not actually stand for health points, it stands for health in blood alcohol concentration, of which the enemy's is... 0.375, which is not at least 0.06, which is at least 0.06, excuse me, so we will be using the breathalyzer. Dehumidifier, if the location's humidity, which as we can see is the second statistic, which is 100%, is greater than 40%, 100% is greater than 40%, so we will be using the dehumidifier. Uh, we will be using Elmo if the enemy's intelligence is between 150. Our spider's intelligence, again, is its first stat, which is a 10, so it is not actually smart enough for us to use Elmo. Uh, the megaphone we will use if the hero's loudness is less than 80. Your loudness is your fourth statistic, which for us is a 60, which is, in fact, high or low enough, rather, for us to use the megaphone. Power Glove, we will use if the enemy's defense is greater than 6. Defense is our third statistic, and defense is a 7. Therefore, we will be using Power Glove. And we will be using the stop sign if the enemy's power is less than 500. Let's check the statistics. Power is the second statistic, which the enemy spider has a power of 1, which is significantly less than 500. We'll be using the sunglasses if the enemy's stealth is greater than 10,000. Stealth is the last Statistic 41, therefore we will not be using sunglasses. And we will use the Tickets Robin Superhero Movie if the location's wind direction is divisible by 45. The wind direction for the location is... Da -da -da -da, the first, which is the first of the two statistics with the and sign, which in our case currently we have a wind direction of 0 degrees. Therefore, the tickets will not be will be used actually because zero is divisible by 45 it comes out to be a whole number which is zero uh, next up we have to find out which weapon we are going to be using uh, the way we do this is every single weapon has a numerical value we simply need to use the one that has the highest value the way I do this is I just go down the list and if uh, the weapon that we are on has a power higher than the one that we are currently using then we discard the old one and keep the new one, otherwise we discard the new one. Let me explain. Now let's find the value for our Argonian Dictionary. It is 10 times every vowel in the location's name. Our location's name, Brizal, which has an I and an A, which is two vowels, so Argonian Dictionary has a power of 20. Uh, distract has a value of hero's age times the hero's height, which again, let's check really quickly is the first statistic and the third statistic, which will be 1.8 times 30, which is going to come out to, hold on, I can do math properly, uh, 0.8 times 30 is 24, so that comes out to a total of 54, which is greater than 20, so we get rid of the Argonian Dictionary.
Now a new score to beat is 54. So let's continue on to the pineapple, which is the location's altitude minus the location's humidity. The location's altitude is the last statistic, which is 999. And the humidity is this percentage right here, which is 100, which gives us a total score of 899. So that is much greater than distract, so we'll be getting rid of distract. Next is the pineapple, 85. If it's less than 1, add 31 cannot possibly be as much as the pineapple. Uh, 47 if under 60, 81 if location, blah, blah, blah. Cannot be higher than the pineapples. So now we are ready to solve the module. We just have to communicate to the diffuser the information that we have. So let's drop down the notepad really quickly. And let's go see things from the diffuser's side. Uh, we simply just give him the information that we have. He'll go to view items so that we don't have to translate it back into letters. We tell him that we are going to be using the 3D glasses. And in order to use an item, you type use item. And then the letter index of that item, the 3D glasses being index delta. You're going to be using the breathalyzer, which is in index India. You're going to be using the dehumidifier, which is hotel. You're going to be using the megaphone, which is F. You're going to be using the power glove, which is alpha. You're going to be using the stop sign, which is Juliet. And I believe you're also going to be using the ticket, which is going to be item Charlie. Last but not least, in order to submit, we will go to view weapons and tell our diffuser that we are going to be using the pineapple. So you type use weapon, excuse me, Charlie, and the module will solve. And it will give you this nice little screen telling you the statistics of what just happened. Just make sure we have the premise down. We will run one more really quickly. Hopefully solve any other questions anyone may have. If not, just get some weird and wacky interactions out of the way that we might not have seen before. So, view enemy. We have DC explode. with 300 oh Christ yep so <laughs> remember when I talked about the weird and wacky statistics uh, we have a number written in scientific notation I'm not gonna say that I'm smart uh, point being it is an excessively high number so infinity shows up occasionally in this module and if you take a look at the m manual it will tell you that whenever uh, not applicable infinity or negative infinity come up to replace them with their respective values it's not really worth typing out so instead I just say infinity when I'm taking my notes which I'll actually just pull those up right now uh, we have a mobility of 0 0.01 HP of 0 stealth of 69,001. Uh, view hero. Our hero is high. With stats of 1.55, 54, 18, 15, 1, and coordinates of 32.2 and negative 82.9. And our location. We check the module. We are at Brizal again. Same statistics as last time 999, 100, 999, 0, and 999, 999, and 999. Take a look at our items. We have. Oopsie. We have the Geiger counter, we have Elmo, we have the stun gun, we have the springboard, which is, I can never remember where it is, we have the dehumidifier, we have the time machine, we have the umbrella, we have the dunce cap, 
we have the breathalyzer, and we have the sunglasses. And our weapons, view weapons, uh, is scissors, sand gun, lizard, which is up here, uh, bunny, and rock. And now, once again, we just check all the conditions. Breathalyzer, if the enemy's HP is at least 0 .06, which it is 0 .01, so that is untrue. Dehumidifier for locations. Humidity is greater than 40%. We have the same location, so dehumidifier is still true. A dunce cap, if the enemy's intelligence is less than 70, which I believe intelligence is the first statistic. Yep, 300, which is not less than 70. We will not be using the dunce cap. Uh, Elmo, we'll use if the enemy's intelligence is less than 100, which it is not. Uh, Geiger counter, if the hero's radiation is greater than 15, which the hero's radiation is its fifth statistic, which for us is a 1, which is not greater than 15. We'll not be using the Geiger counter. Uh, the springboard, if the altitude is less than 100, which it is 999 for Brazal, so that's not true. We'll be using the stun gun if the enemy's MBL is greater than 6. MBL being the fourth statistic, which is a solid 0 0.01. Therefore, <laughs> not high enough for us to be concerned about. Uh, sunglasses, if the enemy's stealth is greater than 10,000, which it actually is because it is 69,001. Uh, we'll be using the time machine if the hero's age is less than 18, which our age is 15, so we will be doing so. Or no, it is 18, forgive me. Which means that we will not be using it. And last but not least, the umbrella if the location's PRC is greater than 75, which it is 100, so we will use the umbrella. Uh, now, weapon calculation. Bunny is temperature plus humidity plus PSI plus wind speed plus wind direction. So we add up all of the location stats. And I am almost convinced that it is going to be impossible to actually beat this. We'll just check really quickly. A lizard can definitely not get that high. Rock cannot get that high. Sand gun is 25 times every space in the enemy's name. We have one space between the C and the apostrophe. So that's 25. Not going to be good enough. Scissors also not going to be good enough. So once again, let's communicate our information to the diffuser. We will really quickly just go to view items. We will tell our diffuser that we are going to be using the dehumidifier, which is at, I can't find it, echo. We'll be using the sunglasses at, huh. View enemy. <laughs> so, something important to note. Don't be the idiot that I was and believe that the L in lumens is a 1. Because that is actually an L that is a part of the unit and is not just an error in the spacing of the number. I think the best way to learn is from mistakes, so now you know to not do that. We will take sunglasses off of our sheet of uh, view items. Uh, and location or er, umbrella is based on location, so we couldn't have gotten that wrong. We'll be using item umbrella, which just so happens to be golf. And now view weapon. We'll be using bunny, which is at index C. <laughs> index D, rather. And that is it for the console tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, and best of luck on your future bombs. I've been Grunkle Squeaky. Thank you for watching. Adios.